In this video, I'm going to show you the best zone drop setup and zone defense in Madden 23. It comes to us out of the dollar defense. Dollar is a, is uniquely equipped to play really good zone because by and large it's a base aligned defense. The other reason why Dollar is really good to play zone out of is because of the fact that it has really good zones anyway built into it and you have more cover players than you would have in a standard defense. So uh, what we're gonna do here, if you wanna get my entire Dollar 3-2 defensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. $10 gets you access to all the ebooks. The link is in the description below if you wanna check it out. Over 22 ebooks and we're dropping a brand new one this week. What we're gonna do for our coaching adjustments here is we're gonna put our auto alignment to base. We're going to put our flats on 30. Our curl flats are going to be on five or zero. I actually really think zero yard curl flats are pretty decent um, if they're consistently throwing the ball to the flat, but I would rather have them on five. But again, if they're throwing the ball to the flat every play, we're gonna have to put these on zero, okay? Um, so you know what, I'll show it to you with zero, why not? And um, like I said, base align. Now, the defense that I like to use for zone um, is actually the cover three cloud. I think that the cover three cloud is the best zone drop style of defense. But what we want to do is we want to come out in the DB fire two so that we're going to give the same pre-snap look no matter what the opponent is going to be doing. So again, one of the biggest principles to defense in Madden is you have to, in my opinion, make everything look the same. If you can make everything look the same pre-snap, it's going to make you that much better post-snap, okay? If you can make everything look the same pre-snap, it is going to make you look much, much more difficult and more complex post-snap. Now, the zone defense I'm gonna show you, it does change if you're playing like a trips tight end look. Um, but this is primarily going to be very effective for bunch and for tight, which is the predominant meta right now in Madden. So like I said, we're going to come out in DB Fire 2. We're going to audible. We're going to audible into cover three cloud. So we want to make sure that somewhere in our audibles, we have the cover three cloud. And if you look at this with me, you see that this is uniquely equipped to really do a good job. So I come out in DB Fire 2 immediately audible to cover through cloud watch this nobody moves whatsoever and basically the defense is actually in large part set up for you um what we're going to do is we're going to press that slot corner uh, on the right side we're going to do that by hitting y on x on playstation or um i'm sorry triangle on playstation or y on xbox you're going to click the individual button which is x on playstation or a on xbox you're going to click the icon of the slot receiver on the side that the slot corner is not on the line of scrimmage and you are going to press him that is it very simple setup and then what we're going to do is we're going to user the linebacker that is on the running back side we want to blitz our user this is going to make it so that we get better sheds because you need to have uh, four people rushing to get the best sheds possible okay then what we're going to do is we're going to drop the slot corner on the right into a curl flat so what we're doing here and this is if you think about it is to the short side of the field we're playing cover cover three cloud if you will to the wide side of the field we're playing cover three traditional this coverage right here if you just take this you can pick it up and play it against anybody in this game you're going to have a lot of success. Why? Because what this defense is going to do, this player really plays more like a quarter on this side. It's going to be technically a third, but he plays, if you think about the grid system in Madden, he's going to play from about this, anything that comes from about right here to about over in this area right here. So let's say that they put a streak on the field to clear out the cover three. Because this streak is in the grid of the safety in the middle of the field, that streak is not going to clear out that cover three. So you see here, I don't have a 30 yard cloud on the bunch side, but this is going to stop any compression corner route because that third is not getting cleared out. So you see he's there. Obviously, I got to click on make a play. I really recommend for this specific deep, if you want to run more zone, um, this is really good, especially if you have um, deep out zone knockout on your two corners. And then with your safeties, you could have, you know, mid zone, whatever you want to do, honestly, um, with them. 
in this specific setup, they're not super imperative because they're going to be more just keeping the roof on the defense. Okay. So um, now, what if we were in cover two? If we want to do this out of DB Fire Two, you can do this out of DB Fire Two. So what you could do is you could easily take this slot corner on the right. You're going to put him into a curl flat. Then you're going to put the outside corner on the right into an outside third. You're going to inside third the inside quarter on the wide side of the field, and then you're going to curl flat that other corner. The thing you don't get when you do this out of DB Fire 2 is you don't get that outside third um, from that left side guy, and it does take, in my opinion, a little bit more time. But what you'll notice about this vertical hook, um, this is something good about this, this vertical hook will get up and he will get into the seam on this tight end, like right there. If that's a mid zone knockout, which I'd really recommend that that's a mid zone knockout, then you can you can actually play pretty decent defense. Now I did want to talk just briefly about handling. If they're going to spam wheel routes on you, because this is what they're going to do. If they start to see that you're running a lot of zone, they're going to probably call a lot of verticals. Most bunch players do. What you want to do in that scenario is if they're going to run these wheel routes, all you have to do is if I'm in that cover three cloud, all I have to do is I'm going to just take that hook curl defender and I'm going to man him up on the tight end. Now what this does is it takes away the wheel route to the tight end and then your job is essentially to kind of lurk in this area back to that area and you see how good this can play. It's a very good little zone defense out of the dollar uh, three two six. Another potential scenario and way that you can take this away is you can take the slot corner back and you can put him into a vertical hook and then you can have you can basically have your curl flat now coming from the tight from the uh the linebacker so everything else is pretty much the same it's just the only difference is now we're taking that linebacker we're going to put him into a curl flat and then what you'll notice here is now that is going to be taken away as you can see right there now, I did want to spend just a few minutes here on the back end of the video talking about short side bunch because it is very important that you understand that if they run their bunch to the short side of the field, the rules stay the same. You don't want to be running cover three cloud to the short side of the field. You want to be running um, you want you want to be running your cover two or um, so what I like to do is run um this cover three cloud and then what i like to do here is we're just gonna essentially press that slot corner and then we're gonna flip this and what you'll see here is sometimes when you do this you have to kind of get that slot corner down but the biggest thing here is we just want that outside we want it to look like this this is this is the cover three cloud because again if they run a c route to the left side then this this is going to be taken away if they run a corner route to the right side then we're still going to take them away because we have that 30 yard cloud flat so that cloud flat is going to play the corner route let me explain why you don't want to be in cover three cloud um with your cover three side to the short side if you're in cover three cloud and your cover three side is to the short side of the field then what's going to happen is they're going to play you with this they're going to run this flood concept almost every single time and it's going to be really hard for you to stop as you can see right there so that's why in my opinion in a perfect world what we're going to do is if if that if, if they're in this short side bunch defense i love to flip my play you can press um if you want to but really all you have to do is just basically base align twice and then it'll give you the same adjustments you had so this is right here is more of what we want to be doing if that's the case and then we can drop that linebacker into the hook curl and you see that this is a defense that it's equipped now to handle a lot of stuff for example if they run a crop verticals crosser now yeah we would have to maybe hang with the crosser a little bit more but that's even a harder throw because again when you try to throw into thirds on the wide sides of the field they play significantly different than when they're on the short side of the field so this is, in my opinion, the best zone defense or base zone defense for defending compression sets. If you want to learn more about my dollar three two six defensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's going to be on your screen right now. You can click that, go get signed up. Ten dollars gets you access to everything, all ebooks, all updates to the ebooks, everything for just ten bucks. Be sure to sign up for the Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.